Welcome to the real day in a life review of the Nothing Phone 1. Let's see how well the Phone 1 handles my day where we'll be testing out the camera, battery, 5G, performance, software, all in real world. So your boy just woke up. I think it's 11.15 a.m. in the morning. Here I have the Nothing Phone which was left on charge. Good morning everyone. Uh, shooting this video on the Nothing Phone using the front camera. And now I've switched to the back cameras which can shoot in 4K resolution unlike the front camera it is a beautiful day in London let me just show you guys here if I pull this down very sunny very very sunny indeed I'll have some quick breakfast so we can go out and explore the day so while I was having breakfast I thought I should edit some photos on Lightroom that I took with the CEO himself Carl Pei the fingerprint scanner is not ultrasonic but still in my usage it has been very consistent I watched some YouTube shorts to distract myself more and got the battery down to 95% the best part about the phone one is its design and one of the coolest thing you can do with this glyph is that you can set any sound as your ringtone and the LEDs will kind of adapt to the music. It looks really good with the right ringtone. Definitely one of the coolest features on this phone. Check this out. This is a lion's head. Obviously, it's not real, but with this wig, it looks pretty creepy. I don't know why this wig is here, but yeah, this looks pretty pretty real look at the eyes all right time to eat vitamins brush them teeth flex that bot get that candy and let's go as soon as i stepped out i realized how hot the day really was and it really wasn't a nice day at all now when i'm out and about i use three things that are major battery drainers which is using 5g using google maps music playing on airpods consistently using camera to shoot random pictures and videos and of course checking social media as well the sun was really bright like it was literally the hottest day in the UK uh, still the screen was fairly visible in the direct sunlight considering the price of this phone that is pretty awesome the battery was down to 85% as I head towards the tube now design is not the only best part of this phone the software is pretty good as well because this phone unlike other phones in this price range it doesn't have any bloatware at all not even duplicate application giving you a very clean Android experience I havenven't noticed any lag so far the 120 Hz refresh rate is very consistent I literally cannot see a difference in performance considering I switched from a flagship S22 Ultra. Also, I found extra on the seat, but unfortunately it was empty. Anyways, we finally got off the tube and went to the iconic London Eye to really test out the camera in this crazy hot weather. I pulled my phone out and shot this clip in 4K. Now, I don't know if you have noticed this, but there's definitely something weird going on with the exposure on this phone and it's happening in literally every clip. Hopefully they can fix this with a software update as soon as possible. Now, detail wise, the clips are looking good. Not many people know this, but the ultra wide angle lens on the phone one can also shoot 4K videos, which is nice. There is no optical image stabilization, so you're not gonna get the same stabilization performance as the main sensor. In my opinion, this ultra wide angle lens is definitely better than most mid rangers that have the 8 megapixel one. As for the front camera, we have a 1080p video with thankfully no exposure your issues now what about images well there's nothing that they have done crazy it's just what you can expect from any other upper mid-ranger phone in this price range decent detail decent colors uh, again overall decent is the word that i would use for most of these images there is no dedicated zoom lens so at 2x level it's fine but beyond that it's going to drop some resolution selfies are good actually better than some of the other mid-rangers that i've tried out especially with the skin tones and portrait selfies are looking good as well with the edge detection also people randomly stopped by and asked me about which phone i'm using because of the glowing leds on the back of this phone as they really stood out i asked one of the guys to guess the price of this phone and he thought that it's a thousand pound plus phone but in reality the actual price definitely shocked him okay it's time to head to starbucks so i won't pass out in this heat don't know about you guys but i always order french vanilla latte with lemon loaf cake combo i mean this is incredible what's even incredible is the battery performance it was down to 57 percent and and honestly it was holding up quite a lot better than i expected the two hours of consistent 5g and camera usage along with music that I was playing 
and considering this extra hot weather, the phone didn't even overheat once. The Snapdragon 778G Plus chip is, seems to be very well optimized. For the next 30 minutes, I used the Phone 1 as a hotspot for my MacBook because there was some Wi-Fi issue at the Starbucks. After that, I went out, took some more photos and videos, and then it was finally time to head home. By the time I got home, it was 7 p.m. and the battery was down to 24% which is not bad at all. I took a very short nap and then it was time to get some workout done. Once again, during this whole day, I'm gonna say I was extremely satisfied with the display performance of this thing. And like I said, I haven't seen any issues whatsoever. Beautiful, bright, and certainly premium because of those uniform bezels. I went for a run to get the pump and of course, test out the night low light camera performance. Interestingly, the night mode is implemented very similar to how it is on an iPhone. The AI AI automatically shows you the night mode icon when it's needed and the capture animation is very similar to how it works on iPhone. The results are again worth the wait because you get brighter and clearer images. There's also a built-in night video mode that can make a dark video from this to this. So you have brighter image and less noise, but it only works in 1080p mode, so no 4K. Once again, the low light performance on this thing is very satisfactory for this price. It's time to hit the shower and then get ready for the dinner. The battery percentage was down to 14%. I didn't use my phone when I came back, so it was on rest, but obviously it was time to charge the phone. Still, I think it did really, really good when it comes to the battery performance, and it still had enough juice for my buddy to watch my old Nutella test videos. All right, it's been a long day with the phone one. I gotta say it's high-end look with the glyph LED is the best part. Performance is also like high-end, like literally I haven't noticed any lag, very optimized. I couldn't tell the difference from switching from my S20 to Ultra. Cameras are definitely not high-end, but suitable for the price. I guess most people will be fine. Just that exposure thing in the video uh, needs some fixing as soon as possible. Battery life is pretty good with that that consistent 5G usage. Overall, the phone one is indeed a good one. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below and what are your thoughts on this day in a life review video. It's the first time that I've done on the channel and uh, let me know if you want more of these in the future. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.